Welcome back to the shop. This is Brat Build Stuff, and today I'm going to be making my very first integral knife. The design I'm going for is a three finger everyday carry. I started to draw out and upset a piece of trailer leaf spring. Upsetting is basically compressing the piece of material so that I have a bigger cross section. So I've gotten this piece to the dimensions that I want. Now I'm going to take about a half inch on one side for the blade. And then I'll have the bolster and the tang. I lined up my hammer with the edge of the anvil so that I get both sides of the blade work down evenly and at the same time creating the integral bolster. This part is probably the hardest thing to forge. I started making the proper preform of the blade. Then I could forge in the bevels.
Using files, I can shape the blade, bolster, and tang. I'm going to get started on the handle and to do that I'm going to use this maple This knife is really starting to come together. I have my touch mark on now and the handle roughed out a bit oversized. And before I get it shaped down to the final dimensions, what I'm going to do is fill the handle with epoxy and have paste wax on the tang of the knife so that when I'm fitting it up, it doesn't have the wiggle. Basically, the paste wax on the tang of the knife won't stick to the epoxy, so I can easily remove it later. The epoxy will then leave a hole that is the exact same shape as the knife's tang. Off camera, I filled up the 
handle one more time with epoxy just because the first time it didn't get fully filled and now it has really good fit there's no wiggle so I can shape the rest of the handle without worrying about it shifting every time With some more filing and sanding, I can bring the handle up to the final dimensions. Then I could round over the edges of both the knife handle and bolster to give it an heirloom fit. Using this technique gives me some more room for air as the handle and bolster don't need to be completely flush. For this knife, I'm going to leave the blade with a pretty rough finish. I think it looks pretty cool with all the scale and then the patina from the forge. To heat treat this knife, I place it in a pipe in my forge because it keeps a more even heat than the forge's flames. To quench it, I'm using canola oil that I probably should have preheated. Preheating the oil can help the blade actually cool off faster because it's less viscous. I did a quick file test and thankfully it hardened despite my forgetfulness. After I quenched the blade, I put it back in the forge to temper it and then once I got it to the tempering colors that I wanted, I just dunked it back in the oil to cool it off. And that's why it has this nice dark finish on it. And I think I'm actually going to leave it like that. I'll just clean up the bevels on the top and bottom and file in some grooves on the tang for the epoxy to fill in the handle. So the reason why I did this is because I'll not be putting a pin in my handle and this these notches will give the epoxy something to grab onto and hold the handle in place. I used a file to more quickly begin profiling the cutting edge then honed it in with a sharpening stone. After a bit of struggling, I got the knife glued together and in the clamp. The epoxy's had some time to set up now. I'm going to put some finish on the handle. I'm going to be using uh, Bertrand Casey's True Oil Finish. I'm really happy how this knife turned out, especially because this is my very first integral knife. Obviously there are things that could be better, but I'm looking forward to trying to make even better integral knives in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.